All right, this is uh, going to be a video on a couple example problems for the ACT in the trigonometry area. One of the, I think it's five or six areas that they cover. We're not going to cover all aspects of trig, just, just a couple problems. So here's the first problem. Uh, an advertising balloon is tethered. Oop, I don't have it quite fitting in here. Whoops. There we go. An advertising balloon is tethered to the ground. The wind is blowing the balloon so that it has a 20 degree angle of elevation. The tether is 500 meters long, ignoring any sag in the string. Approximately how high off the ground is the balloon? And so you can almost, in this problem, and this is a trick, I mean, go ahead and pause the video and solve it if you think you can. And if not, um, here's a th here's the deal. Usually, they'll have this uh, written in there, and and everything's proportionally drawn. So that so this would literally be 500. That means this this one should be proportionally the same. So we know it's not 470, um, and we know it's not 20. And so it's, and actually 250 is probably a little bit big too. So it's one of these two just going by the length that we have here. Again, I freehanded it, but, but uh, I think I'm pretty close. But to find it exactly, we need to use sine cosine tangent. And so um, just a good thing to memorize for so, sine cosine and tangent is SOCA TOA. Um, and what that means is sine theta. Again, if you if you've never seen this before, you need to go find uh, some videos on it. But it's sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the last one, the toa part, is tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. And so what that means in our triangle is first off the one across from the 90 degree angle is always the hypotenuse. So there's my hypotenuse. The opposite is opposite the angle. So that's the question mark. So we'll put a little opposite there an OP. And then adjacent is the one beside the angle that's not the hypotenuse. <laughs> And so um, we're ready to figure out which one of the three to use. Well, since we're trying to find opposite, the question mark here, and we're given the hypotenuse, we're dealing with opposite and hypotenuse. Well, the only one for that is sine. And so you would plug in that information. So sine 20 degrees equals question mark, I'm going to call it x, over 500. And so we're ready to to get the calculator out and solve that. The ACT a lot of times will give you uh, in the problem sine 20, cosine 20, tangent 20 because they want you to do the test without a calculator. But uh, oops. So here <laughs> there's the answer. But uh, um, let's say we didn't have that we would type in sine of 20 and you would make sure that your calculator is in degrees which this one is so you could flip it to radians just by sliding that over and this is just the Google calculator so sine 20 um, is 0 0.342 and when we did that problem um, so we would plug 0.342 in place of sine of 20. And so you'd take 500 times 0.342. And so you pull that calculator back, take that times 500, and you get 171. And so we know our answer, the closest one we have, 
is G or approximately 170. Okay, so that's uh, a way to solve that, way to look at it. Here's the next question. So go ahead and give it a shot. Ignore that arrow. That really doesn't mean anything. That was not the answer. It may be, but who knows. I'm not sure why the arrow is there. But if 0 is less than x is less than pi over 2 and sine of x equals 2 thirds, then cosine x equals what? So pause the video, see if you can figure this one out, and we'll go from there. All right, first off, decoding this. This first part tells you what quadrant we're in. So if you remember your trig and your radian measures, this is zero degrees. And 180 degrees is pi radians. So that means 90 degrees is pi over 2 radians. And 270 degrees, which is straight south, is 3 pi over 2. And so that, this tells us it's between 0 and 90 degrees. So we know we have a right triangle in this first quadrant. And my reference angle is x. And so it says sine x equals 2 thirds. Well, again, you want to use the SOHCAHTOA. That thing is incredibly handy. And so we're dealing with sine opposite over hypotenuse. And again, here's my 90 degree angle. My hypotenuse is 3. My opposite is 2. And we're going to need to find cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this particular problem, we're going to have to use Pythagorean theorem to find this length. So Pythagorean theorem, if we call this z, for instance, it would be z squared plus 2 squared equals 3 squared. And so, you know, you keep solving that out. z squared plus 4 equals 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. z squared equals 5. So z is equal to the square root of 5. That's your adjacent side. And so cosine uh, theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And so in our case, our adjacent is the square root of 5. Our hypotenuse is 3. And so we know the answer is D. Now you want to be really careful because had this say, for instance, said pi over 2 is less than or equal to x is less than, uh, you wouldn't need the equal to, less than pi, that would mean we were in the second quadrant. Well, when you go left in the second quadrant, that's a negative value. So you might end up, cosine would be negative, square root 5 over 3, uh, whereas sine x would have stayed 2 thirds. So those are some tricks that, and I'll, I'll give you more practice of those type of problems uh, as I keep building this series. So best of luck. See you next time.